Hi world, hi everybody, hello, hi friends, hi family, hi haters, we are becoming friends. Happy New Year to everyone, hope you guys are doing good and your holidays are going great. Today I'm going to answer another request from Owa Hini Jr. again. You know, I've got a lot of requests from friends and from lovely subscribers like J String, Guitar Class, Kwabina Kelvin, Imana Lapon. Please, I'm going to help you guys with all the requests you've sh sent to me. But uh, one from Owa Hindi Jr., I don't even know him. I've never met him before. It's it's what I want to tackle because the others are very technical and it will take a lot of time for me to edit and do the video. So I'm going to take this one for Owa Hindi Jr. again. He says he wants to know how to play Yam Ponsa when the main key or your tonic is not on the second string, but maybe your key is on the third string. It's quite technical. I'm going to do a little video to support that. So if you're new here, click on the subscribe button, massage the like button down there. And if you have any possible thing you want us to help you, put it in the comment section. We'll be glad to help you. So, Kel, Kwabina Kelvin, Emmanuel Lapon, you want lessons on Sukus, Kwabina Kelvin, you want local worship. Um, I'm working on that. Then J-String, guitar class, you want lesson on phrasing. I'm going to serve you at the right time. See you. Let's get to the lesson for today. How to play Yamponsa when your main key is on the third string. Okay, so I'm going to use a random key. Let's say instead of normally we are used to this kind of Yamponsa where you play, your main key will be on the second string. Like. When it's a C sharp, because it'll be a bass guitar. Now, if our key is on the G open string, that's a third string. How can we play Amponza? Trust me, it's quite technical. But I'm going to do the best I can to take it very slowly. Slow but surely. So that everybody can get this. If it sounds or feels very advanced to you after watching. If you see it's too advanced, you can still take your time. But as I said, it's quite technical, but there's always a way out, you know, in situations like this. So let's choose a random key. Let's say, um, let's choose B flat. So the fifth string is A. Here is A sharp or B flat. So now our key is on the third string, as you can see. That's B flat, right? Yeah. Good. So because we have our key here, the rhythm, we, have, we want to try and imitate something in C like. We are trying to achieve something like this. But now our key is here. As I said earlier in the other lesson I did with praises, if you've not watched that, there's a link that just showed up right here. Right there. Do you see it? up there click on it and it's going to help you understand this better okay so based on that we know that we can get our minor pentatonic from this shape through this shape we can get our major scale of good so we know that our one is here on the second string is our third get a, an octave of our one here. Above the third string is our fifth. And when we come up a step, we have our third again and then our root. So a bar chord here will sound this way. That is, imagine the guitar is starting from this side. You have... The first part of it is that we want to bar our one, five. You know where our five is? When we move three semitones, you have a flattened seventh. That is tall when you're moving from your right, and then knee when you're moving from your right, your left to the right. So. 
that is the first part. We add our dead measure. Picking from the root note, our B flat, that's our do. We have. And you let your me be as a guy, as if you were playing the C scenario. So do, me, do. The me is here, and do is on the second string. The me is on the fourth. So the same idea is what we are using here. Seven notes is this. Why are pink keys? Because we don't have I mean six fingers. If we had six fingers, then we we could easily put our finger here to get the full chord. So we are limited. So we leave that to the bass guitarist to work on that for us. <laughs> so that'll be the first part. steps back you get to ray and that will be a c minor seven question r2 is c minor or is a c minor seven so you have Otherwise, you may not be able to play. So the root note, I'm playing the key of B flat. One more time. Because everything is a bar, like, you see with the C and other stuff, you have open notes that are very easy to help you. But this is all by yourself. So you need to have a very firm grip of your bar chord before you can play effectively. And then our third will be back to our one. So the phrase or the lick me so far. It means we are getting to our fourth chord. So one more time at a slower pace. One, two, go. For the last time. So this is our first part of the Amponsa. Then we continue it. After the B so far, far So our fourth is here. Then we have our re on the second. Let's do is here. is 
quite technical, as I said. It cannot sound perfectly as nice as when you take it from this. It's a Genki. And you can see it's very stressful. So why would you want to play on the third string when the second is easier? But this is the way out. Too stressful. One more time. <laughs> mm. So if you don't want to you struggle with this five chord, I mean the so chord, you can actually do something like. Seven chord here. That is F seven. But if you want it to sound like when your key is on the second string, then this is the voice. Quite technical and too difficult, I think. It's quite stressy, but if you want to know the technique, that's it. Okay, so Wahi Junior, please let me know in your comment if you still have any challenge with this. Let me know, but I don't think it would be good advice I would to play this way. You might feel a lot of pain. Remember, I have a lot of experience. That's how you able to. You can even see I'm struggling a little because it's difficult. You don't have any help, but with time, when you practice, you'll be okay. All right. So, see you next time. If you have any other question, please put in the comment section. See ya. Happy New Year. Everybody, bye.